Hi, Kinders. Are you ready to do another page in our Backpack Bear Journal? All right, so today to work in our Backpack Bear Journal, you're gonna need your flare pen and you're gonna need your Backpack Bear Journal. So we're gonna open up our Backpack Bear Journal. Remember the page we did yesterday? We're just gonna turn one page, one page, and we're gonna start writing right here. I want you to put your finger on the star because that's where we always start our writing, where the star is. And do you remember the sky? Let's hold our finger to the sky. And then the fence and then the ground. Remember, letters and numbers fall from the sky. They pass the fence and they touch the ground. All right, so we are going to start with where the star is. I'm going to take my expensive flare pen and put the cap on the top so I don't misplace it. And right here with the star, I'm going to teach you to write a really important word that you're going to have to remember for a long time. The word is Kolb. Kolb is the name of the school that we go to. We go to Kolb Elementary School in kindergarten. So we're going to write Kolb here. So we're going to start in the sky and we're going to draw a line all the way past the fence to the ground. Kolb starts with the letter K. K, K. Then we're going to start back in the sky and we're going to draw a line that touches a diagonal line that touches the fence and the line that we just drew. And then we're going to put our pen where we stopped and we're going to Draw a line that goes down. And that is the letter K, K for Kolb. Kolb starts, next letter is an O. So we're going to start the fence and draw a circle that touches the ground. The letter O, Kolb. Ready? The next one is the letter, is the letter L. So we're gonna start in the sky and we're gonna pass the fence and we're gonna touch the ground. That's the letter L. And the last letter for Kolb is B, B, like backpack bear. So it's gonna be the letter B. So we're gonna draw a line that starts in the sky, past the fence and touches the ground. And then we're going to put our marker right here on the fence and draw a half circle for the B. Kolb. You just wrote the name of our school. We go to Kolb Elementary School. All right, so we're gonna draw a school. So, oh, I almost forgot. What did we forget to do? The date. Thank goodness I remembered. So yesterday's date was August 18, 2020. Today is August 19. So we're gonna put our finger at the star because this is where we always start writing and we're gonna go down to the next line. Do you guys or girls remember the number that represents August? Yes, it's an eight. So I'm gonna start in the sky and write the number eight. Because eight represents August. So if you ever want to write August in a short, fast way, you can just write the number eight and people will know that it's August if it's part of the date. So we're gonna do a dash. And then today's the 19th, it's August 19th. So 19th is a one. And the number nine. Nine starts in the sky, touches the fence, sort of like a circle and then a line. August 19th, I'm gonna do another dash. And do you remember the year? 2020, so it's 2020. So I'm gonna do my two, touch the sky and the ground, a zero, it's an oval, a two, and a zero. Now, if Mrs. Zito is going too fast, you can always pause the video and catch up and then play again when you're ready. All right, so I wrote the name of our school, Kolb. I wrote the day's date, August 19, 2020. Now I'm ready to draw my picture of Kolb Elementary School. So I'm gonna start at the top. This blank space is always for our picture. And I'm gonna start close to the top. So, so Susie, this is the top of my journal. Right here, I'm gonna put a dot. Can you put a dot right there? 
Maybe I'll make my dot bigger. Do you see that dot? It's, it's sort of halfway between here and here. So I have enough room to draw my picture. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line. And then another diagonal line. I'm making a shape. I wonder if you guys know what this shape is. And I'm going to connect the two bottom lines. What is the shape? A triangle. You're right. It's the roof of the school. Then I'm going to draw a square for the bottom. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes straight down. And then another line that goes straight down. And then I'm going to connect these two lines right here. That my uh, school needs windows and a door. So I'm going to draw the door right here in the center. I'm going to draw two lines. And I'm going to connect the top. And you can't open the door without a doorknob. So I'm going to put a big doorknob right there. And I'm going to write my classroom number. So you are either in K1 in Mrs. Xito's class, K2 in Mrs. Barnes' class, K3 in Mrs. Iris's class, or K5 in Mrs. Henry's class. So you can write the number of your classroom if you know what. If not, you can just write K for kindergarten. So I'm going to put because I'm in K1 and I know that. I'm gonna put K1 right up here. So I'm gonna do the letter K. It looks just like this. K, and then put the number one because we are in K1. Then I'm going to uh, draw some windows. My windows are always just squares. And maybe I'll put a, yeah, maybe I'll draw another window on this side. And then on top of the roof, there's always tiles. So I'm going to draw some squiggly lines for the tiles of our roof. And now I'm ready to color my classroom. Now, if you're really good at drawing, you can draw some the the play structures out here. Um, over here, there's also... Let's see, beside the play structure. Oh, there's an area where we can play ball. And the area, there's an area with grass, too. You can draw some grass. You can draw as much detail to your story as you want. In fact, I'm going to make it a sunny day because Mrs. Cedar likes sunny days. I'll put a little fluffy cloud over here. Okay, I think there's enough details. Well, maybe... I should put grass on this side too, so it's not just grass on one side. There you go. All right, so I think I have enough detail. I'm gonna close my expensive pen, listen for the click, and then I can start coloring. Hmm, I'm gonna make our door, I think our door's gray. I'm gonna color it a gray. And I think I'm gonna give us a nice blue roof. I like the color blue and if you need to catch up you're not ready to color yet you can pause the video finish drawing your cold classroom and then you can come back and color it later I'm gonna color the Sun yellow and I'm going to color our building brown I think our building is gray, but since I made the door gray, I don't want to make the building gray too. I like making my pictures nice and colorful. Do you like making your pictures nice and colorful too? So I'm going to color the rest of my classroom. Don't you think pictures look so much nicer after you color them? The color just... I'm gonna color the grass too. It makes it so much prettier to look at. I know I like looking at pictures that are colored. So hopefully we will get Mrs. Iris to do some journals because she is an amazing artist. I can't draw as well as Mrs. Iris, but I still like to draw. 
and I keep practicing and practicing my drawing, hopefully one day my pictures will be as pretty as the ones that Mrs. Iris draws. All right, boys and girls, you did a great job. I'm proud of you. All right, I will see you tomorrow for our next journal page.